Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. Today I'm checking out more electronic accessories from Aerie. We're going to take the WCU4 and interface it with the Alexa Mini. Now just like the Alexa Plus models, the Mini has electronics built into it that allow us to quickly and easily have wireless control, not only of our focus hours and zoom, but of camera control as well. So I want to show you how we're going to connect to the WCU4 in the menus of the Mini. We're going to build up a lens file, transmit that information back to the Mini, and then the Mini will transmit it, that information back to my screen here. So not only will I have control over my zoom lens, I'll also have control over the camera. Before I again create a lens file, first I have to open a communication between the camera and the handset. So to do that, I'm in the ECS or electronic control system, and I'm going to go into the radio menu, I'm going to turn it on and you can see I have channel 4 selected. So I just need to make sure I have channel 4 selected on my handset. I powered up the Alexa Mini and I have used these cables. These are called LBUS cables and they're going into my C-Force Mini motors. And now notice that each C-Force motor takes an LBUS connector in and then out and we're literally just daisy chaining down the row here. So uh, each of these motors is going to be uh, one of three axes, focus, iris, or zoom. And the way that the motor knows what its job is, is right now I'm blinking. Uh, and the reason why it's blinking is because it does not see a communication link with the handset. But before I do that, I'm going to verify on each motor uh, what its operation is. Notice it says fizz here on each motor. If I push this button, it now allows me to go between different stations. So I'm going to keep this motor at I for iris. I'm going to take this one, keep it at Z for zoom, and you see this one is at F for focus. So now I've delegated a responsibility to each of these motors. So now when I turn on the handset, the handset knows which respective motor to speak to in order to have a lens operation carried out. Notice there's no data on my screen and that's because I have to send it to the camera now for the camera to transmit it back to the screen. So to do that, I am going to go into menu and go down to my lens data and I'm going to do a lens file transfer and I'm going to select and go down to Alexa, LDA and I'm going to go down to my Zeiss 28 to 80. Uh, there it is. Select it and I'm now going to send that over. We're going to do calibration All right, let's go home. And you can see that now my data has populated the screen. So now I'm ready to start pulling focus. In addition to being able to pull focus and seeing all my lens attributes, I also can go into the camera menu here and you can see that I get a list of all the uh, settings in the camera, but I have more uh, things I can do in here. If I go to my setup, for example, now I could go in here, change my frame rate, shutter angle, exposure index, ND filters, all those things that are, uh, you need to have access to readily and quickly. In addition to this, you also have the ability to go in and assign your user buttons and uh, use those as you would on the camera. Uh, you have access to four. You have one, two, three here, and then a fourth one up there. And then you can also play back your clips from here. You will not see your clips on the screen. Uh, you'd have to look at them on a monitor, but you can control uh, the playback. I don't have a uh, card in the camera right now, so it's telling me there is no card. And last but not least, we can go in and on the monitoring out, I can go in and change attributes of what we're going to see uh, on the uh, output from the camera through monitoring out as well. That wraps up my look at the WCU4 interface to the Alexa Mini. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.